Hey, what's up guys? Bonsai Crazy, how you doing? Today we're gonna do our first trunk chop on a dawn redwood tree. Now here, it's been snowy this, these past few days and it's springtime and the buds are just coming out and I didn't want them to freeze and, and set it back for a few months or a few weeks. So I've wrapped it in, uh, in bubble wrap just to keep the snow off and the frost off. I'm going to take this off in a second and give you a detailed show of how the tree's looking. I did actually chop higher up than where I wanted to and I just stuck that in the ground behind it and that seems to be growing. Um, let's take this off. Like so. And I'll get you closer and we'll have a good look at this tree. Right, so here we go guys. Hopefully you can see, it's a bit bright. So the white is reflecting quite a bit. As you can see, that branch there has a few buds and so does the one right next to it. And then if I pan out, I chopped it up here but I knew that I wanted to eventually chop it down here. So I want that to be the new apex eventually. So I've taken advice from Eric from Bonsafire and he says to chop at least two or three inches above where you expect or want to chop. And after actually viewing Candice's videos, as you can see, that branch there has no buds on it. That's one of those branches that she was telling you about that will grow and look like they're gonna be good branches, but they're actually got no buds on them for the, ne the, the next year. So that is a wasted branch. I'm just gonna chop that off. And I'm gonna chop around here, getting rid of this one here, and this will become the apex. So I'll get you in position and I'll show you the chop. All right, so here you go, guys. I'm just gonna get rid of that there. And this little branch down there that I was telling you about, it's no good. So we're gonna get rid of that. Then I'm gonna come at an angle. Yeah, something else that um, Eric said was they don't wanna, they don't tend to wanna straighten up once they've been chopped. So they're not very good at re reoccur, like um, regenerating. So I'm gonna chop it at an angle, getting rid of that second branch like so. Oh no, what happened there? That wasn't a very good chop. Right, so we're gonna put some, <coughs> put some tree sealer on that. It's not a great chop. I don't know what happened to me just didn't want to chop that properly. There you go. We're going to give that a really good seal. Like that. And hopefully that will recover. And this will become the apex. And I'll have a really nice thick trunk coming along. And eventually, once these, once these sprouts grow and they've, they've become a, a proper branch, like Candice says from Bonsai Science, then I'll, have, I'll chop it down to there and we'll have a really nice thick, thick uh, dawn redwood tree. Right, so there you go, guys. There's our first trunk chop 
on our Dawn Redwood tree. I think I'm gonna try and just make a, a formal upright or an informal upright on this tree. I think that's the way I'm gonna go, go with it because basically I'm a newbie. I, I hate wiring at the moment. I've not find, found that skill in the wiring skill like uh, Tony from Tony's Bonsai. I, I haven't got that skill at the moment. So I'm just gonna go with a straightforward Dawn Redwood upright, formal upright or informal upright on that tree. And we'll see how it works out. Like I say, it is my first one. So I hope this gives you good information. If you need more information on Dawn Redwood trees, then go and see Candice at Bonsai Science. She has amazing videos, really explains a Dawn Redwood properly and how not to, not to chop it and how, how to chop it properly. So it's a really good video she has. So go and see that. But this is my first trunk chop. So she hasn't shown us one of those yet, the first trunk chop. So hopefully this will be a good video. I'm gonna go up to the roof balcony now and we're gonna select two trees, two, two Japanese large trees, because I wanna do, do something with them in the next couple of days. Right guys, hopefully you can see me here. I've got four, I've got four Japanese larch here. And I wanna do something special with a couple of these. So I'm actually, these are the ones that I brought up onto the, the roof you saw in the year and they're just about to pop their buds. So it's perfect time for me to dig them out of here, do some root work and do the stuff that I want to do with it. So these will be, this will be a video coming up in the next couple of videos coming up in the next couple of days. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do with them. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna dig them out and get them out of the ground. So I've got two there that I've selected and I'll show you what I'll do with them in the next couple of days. I'll see you later on guys. Ta-da!